I bought a old farmhouse. I moved from Los Angeles back to Michigan. And before I bought this old farmhouse, I went to this condo community. I'm like, uh, I want to buy one of these condos. It was on a golf course, indoor, outdoor pools, everything you could ever want. Went up to the person who sells them. I'm like, I want that house. They go, can I ask you how old you are? And I go, I'm 40-something, whatever the math was. And they go, ooh, you, you have to be 65 to live here. I'm like, well, what if I identify as a 65-year-old? <laughs> because I do a lot of 65-year-old shit. <laughs> so you might want to lawyer up or hand me those keys. <laughs> I got a pickleball tournament I'm going to <laughs> at 3 o'clock. <laughs> I got pants that zip off into shorts. 99% of my shoes are slip-on. <laughs> Talk about 65. Man, I, I'm getting older. Like, I've, there's a lot of, uh, I'm new to glasses. I don't know if people who wear glasses, what the record is for amount of reading glasses on the top of your head while you're looking for reading glasses. <laughs> so far, I'm up to three. I've done this move. I've looked for glasses, why I had glasses on. Uh, I also um, lose remote controls uh, that are in my hand. <laughs> you ever do that? Ever just be like watching TV and you're like, what? Where, where, where? And my first move is I always go right to my crotch <laughs> because that's where I keep like 99.9 .9 of anything important. I just go right, right to the crotch, right? <laughs> so I bought this old, uh, old farm. Uh, in Michigan, my house was built in uh, 1820, I believe, so it's a little old. And when I bought it, uh, there was no crops around it. But, but like right now, my house is scary because it's nothing but corn. And when I was growing up, there were two corn movies, two. <laughs> there was one corn movie where they're playing baseball. That's a good corn movie. <laughs> All right? And then there's a second corn genre movie where it was Children of the Corn, where Malachi and his friends went around and they killed old people. But when I first saw that movie, I loved it because I was 12 and I was like, yeah, fuck old people. <laughs> Kill them all. But now I live exactly like that, right? And having a house, speaking of temperature, having a house that's 200 years old, I've been playing this game where I set the thermostat for uh, 71. I mean, right now it's, it's set at 110. Uh, but at home I would set it for like 71, and then I walk around and try to find what room is actually 71. <laughs> it's a fun game. Like, I have one of those COVID thermometer guns, right? So I'll holster it and I'll walk in the rooms and I'll just practice drawing and I'll click and I'll be like, 73 degrees in that room, walk in another one. Oh, 32 in that one. Man, that's a lot of different temperatures coming out of this room. Pretty sure a tornado's gonna start in the hallway. My stairs going upstairs is, well, I got stairs, but they identify as a ladder. I mean, these things are straight up like that. And you could actually put your, your hands on the steps as you go up. <laughs> but what's fun, and it just, you have to do it one time. Coming down the stairs, you will eventually, because you will fall, <laughs> okay? Because people in the 1800s, their feet <laughs> were like this big. I mean, walking up my steps is like putting your foot in a Peloton bike. My calves are getting crushed. But when you fall, you do this thing where you don't tumble. You, it's a real scary little, like that. You're like, ah, oh, and you pee yourself a little, right? I've also been playing this game uh, the last couple months called uh, Guess What Animal's in the Wall. That's an awesome game. I would like to apologize to a lot of different animals that I thought I didn't like before I moved to a farm, okay? And I would like to apologize. Like a possum, 
possums look scary. And when you see a possum, you're like, oh, it's a possum. And nobody gives a little fun stuffed possum to the newborn baby to have in their crib. Right? You get a little bear. Even though a real bear would eat your kid in about two seconds. <laughs> okay? But you put an animal that would eat your kid, and you're like, I'm okay with that. Possums just look gross. Okay? Possums are good animals. They do a lot of stuff in your yard you need done. They deal with a lot of mice. They deal with a lot of tick, ticks. And every once in a while, you go throw a pizza box away, and they're in your trash, and you both, like, jump. And the possum's, like, looking at you going, you don't know what happens out here! <laughs> Your candy ass is in there with your cush ass life. Why I'm dealing with the real world. Go back in your bubble. Okay, I'll say this. Chipmunks are dicks. There you go, cancel me. There, there's what you needed. You were looking for something. Tell everybody, John Heffern thinks chipmunks are dicks. And if you're like, nah, that's because you're thinking of the wrong chipmunks. You think chipmunks, you, you think Hawaiian shirt, leather jacket. You're not thinking of the chipmunks that get in your walls and have illegal bowling tournaments. These, these tournaments are not sanctioned. None of the wind should count. They shouldn't go against anything. I hear the balls rolling and I hear them giggling. And now Wednesday's karaoke night. It's a pain in the ass. I one time freaked out so much because all I heard was rumbling in my walls. I have a couple of pew-pews. I was just going to go in and light up a wall. I was just going to light up a wall, and then I was going YouTube, and I was going to look how to get bullet holes out of plaster. <laughs> there are way more videos than there should be. And not from crusty looking old guys too. Just young blonde influencers, just like with a diva light ring in their eyes. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell so you get notifications every time. And make sure you hear my podcast or go to my Patreon page. So anyway, your boyfriend runs out of the room and now you have bullet holes on the wall. Here's, here's what you do. I, uh, it was weird once I started uh, traveling again. And you know what I should do, be, because even though I'm, re I'm recording some stuff for uh, a bunch of stuff, I think contractually as a comic, to stay in the comic union, I have to do a six-minute COVID chunk <laughs> because I have nothing on record that I've ever even talked about it. So, so I have to do it now. Here's my take on COVID, because you've heard a lot of jokes about COVID from every comic, but here's my take. Uh, there are kids that are born today, okay, uh, that will know nothing about COVID, because they're born literally today. 15 years from now, they're going to have questions about what we just went through, right? And, and they're going to ask their parents about COVID. Now listen, this is assuming 15 years from now, they're teaching science or history in school. <laughs> Okay, so we'll, we'll just assume, let's just assume there's a secret society that teaches real history and real science somewhere in the, in the thing to make sure you can't, right? Because by then you're probably not allowed to, to say the number seven for some reason, <laughs> right? So just they're gonna change all the rules of the sevens timetables because like we don't say seven anymore. We don't, we don't say seven. Seven is not something we say. <laughs> Vote for me. I hate seven in, in America, right? So it's all things. So, so those kids, those kids 15 years from now are gonna ask their parents, mom, how come Nana and Papa like to eat outside in a parking lot? <laughs> what? It's 11 degrees outside. And Papa built a, an igloo out of plastic and they're eating chicken wings under a space heater. Oh, well that's because they were alive during COVID. And during COVID you ate at shitty restaurants in their parking lots. Because if you went inside, then that's when the COVID would get you. So you'd eat horrible food outside 
Well, at least we're not at home. <laughs> oh, so, so people couldn't go inside at all during COVID? Nope, that's when you got it. And especially if you're inside after 10, then in no time COVID came and got you. Oh, okay, so you weren't allowed to go inside at all. Nope, everybody had to stay outside. Well, unless you're at a Fortune 500 company, unless you're at Target, Walmart, Costco, then they could have thousands and thousands and thousands of people come through on a daily basis. What COVID hated was the paint your own pottery store. <laughs> So that's why they had to shut down. <laughs> it's the mom and pop pizzeria that sat 11 people on a good July day. That's why they shut down. Okay, I get it. And the age group I feel the most sorry for were, were the kids that were seniors when COVID first happened, right? They missed out to me. They missed out on the most stuff. And a lot of them don't realize that was trauma not having to experience things you've been looking forward to your whole life and having it not happen, you suffered from trauma. And if you don't close that loop, some of those kids are gonna make decisions based upon this thing that's missing in their life. So some of them are going to be, you know, 30 years from now, 50 year old adults at bars and the bartender is gonna be like, hey, it's last call. I never had a prom. <laughs> When I graduated, my parents drove by and honked. <laughs> right, and it was difficult. Like, you forget what a difficult time we just all went through. Like, you kind of blow it off now, but there were some moments where it was pretty tough, especially if you had both partners who were, like, working at home. All right, like, right, and you know, when you got married and you said all the I do's and I love you's and I that do your part and you said all that stuff, you said that thinking their ass is going to be gone <laughs> 55 hours a week, right? Like, I'll say yes to all of that, but they're going to be gone 55 hours a week. Then, halfway through the changed the terms of agreement and there was an update and you just scrolled all the way through and said yes, so you could keep going. And now it switches, no, 24 hours a day for two years straight. They are gonna be right next to you. How, how many times did you get in trouble for just being you? Just being, just being, just being. You're just standing in your own house and you got yelled at for standing. <laughs> right, it, it's not like it's the 70s, you were out at some bar, right, getting numbers written on, on matches. We used to start fire with matches. <laughs> right, right? You're literally, you're literally at your house. And how many times did you just, you turn and, you, and your spouse is right there and you're like, what? You know I'm making a sandwich. Why are you in front of that cupboard? I'm, I'm, I'm looking for something to eat. We're eating in seven hours. I don't know if that makes sense, but okay. Oh, out of the kitchen. If you're not helping with dinner, everybody out of the kitchen if you're not helping. The husband and the dog leave with their ears behind. It's just the wife and the cat, and the cat's up on the counter. Yeah, fuck those two. <laughs> we should buy a little condo. Those two had no value to our lives whatsoever. <laughs>